What's up, everybody? This month's vlog is about the importance of taking ownership. Now, Pops, you've talked to me my whole life about taking ownership and responsibility for the things that happen in my life. As a parent, why did you stress this so much? Because I needed you to know and understand that you can't go through life passing the buck. At the end of the day- Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What up? I'm in my mid twenties and you're throwing around mid fifties, old man lingo. What does passing the buck mean for us younger folk? Wow, okay, I see it's this older people day, I get it. <laughs> it means avoiding responsibility or blaming somebody else. You know, when I became a parent, I had to take ownership of my duties as a provider, as a caretaker, as a life coach, you name it. Neither you or your brother asked to come here. And so as a parent, we have to take ownership of our family. Okay, okay. Uh, I am glad that you modeled that behavior for me when I was growing up because it made me know that there were consequences to my actions. And I never forget you saying, that I had a first name and a last name. The first name was mine, but the last name was all of ours. So I better act right when I leave the house. Facts, facts. You know, too many people are walking around blaming others for what hasn't happened in their life. Now, can life be unfair at times? Absolutely. More unfair to some than others. But do we have time to dwell on it? Absolutely not, because time stops for no one. Okay, Mr. Mid-20s, talk a little bit about how taking ownership has helped you on your journey. Mm. Actually, when I was really young, maybe about six or seven years old, you and mama making me take ownership made me more responsible. But for example, when I got to school, I knew that I needed to speak up if I needed assistance with my schoolwork. That's taking ownership. As I got older and I entered the workforce, the more responsibility I took, the more responsibility I got. Remember, leaders don't shy away from accountability. Now for me, one of the greatest benefits of taking ownership is having a sense of control over my life. You see, this is also my personal power. The ability to set my mind to something and then go out and accomplish it, that's taking ownership. And this is what you want for your kids as they progress through life. So to all the parents that are watching this vlog, as a young person, I want you to know how important it is that you model this behavior. Now Pops, go ahead and talk to them a little bit about how ownership has helped you as a parent through the years? Well, you know, first of all, when I failed as a parent, and I did um, many, many times, but I knew that it was on me to fix or correct the issue at hand. Second, and you've mentioned this a couple of times, and I think it's really, really good, I wanted to model behavior for you and your brother, so I didn't blame anyone else for my mistakes or my shortcomings. And then third, and I wanna keep this in the family, as a husband and a life partner to your mom for 31 years, it's helped keep us together and it's helped keep us happy. You know, I've never been ashamed to apologize. I've never been ashamed to say I was sorry. And I've never been ashamed to admit that I was wrong. And so we have some reflective questions that we want all of you to think about. And here they are. Here are some reflective questions for you to think about. What steps can I take to have more ownership over my life? How can taking more ownership of my actions benefit my family? What can my children learn from being responsible for their actions? We will see you next time, everybody. Remember, we're rooting for you. Peace.